Well, hello there, and welcome to the very first episode of Plant Mom Diary with your girl, C. Addie. Today, we are going to be planting sunflower seeds, and I'm going to use these beautiful gifts that I bought home from Home Depot, as well as Family Dollar. So stay tuned, and let's get right to it, okay? I love you. So I got this super cute greenhouse kit and I bought these beautiful sunflower seeds that we're going to plant in them. Okay, so I do have my individuals and to cap them off, I'm going to use this press and seal. We're going to put them on the top because we don't have a plastic top like my greenhouse kit. This is just a water globe I'm going to use later on and um, some wicks that I bought to create a water wick system for my plants but I'll make a video for that and you can stay tuned for that as well. Okay, so here is the Jiffy Greenhouse Kit that I bought, okay? It has this nice little clear cover. Um, it has these cute little pellets in it that we are gonna wet and then they are going to turn into these little pods that we're gonna stick our sunflower seeds in as you can see here. Okay, so it also comes with this um, vitamin, which I see this in the store all the time, Super Thrive, that you add to your water. And then here we just have some sticks that you use to like label what you're planting in case you're putting multiple seeds here, okay? So we're gonna start this off by taking some distilled water. And then of course I'm gonna add it into my um, nice little watering pot. I don't know what this is called. Um, so yeah, then we're just going to add the water to the pellets like this and we're going to allow the pellets to absorb the water and then you will see them begin to swell and then they turn to these cute little pods of like the seeds start medium and then we're going to put the seeds in them and wait for them to sprout. Okay, so I'm going to allow you to watch the video here and then you will just see me continuously adding water as they continue to absorb. Um, and then once they're done absorbing, I'm going to switch over it and let you watch me stick the seeds in, okay? So here you can see them kind of swelling up a little bit. So yeah, anyway, stay tuned. Alright, so for our baby pods, we are going to be planting these beautiful sunflower seeds. Now, these are mammoth sunflower seeds, and I believe these are the super, super tall ones that you see in the fields. I also bought this coneflower grow kit that was only a dollar from Family Dollar, and um, it's very similar to this. It comes with like a little piece of paper that has seeds in it. It has the grow medium compacted again, so we just have to add some water, and then we're gonna see if that'll grow. I also got a daisy grow kit, okay? Same thing, it has this paper with the seeds in it, and then um, you just wet the medium, and it's gonna swell up just like this is. So now, we are getting ready to take these mammoth sunflower seeds, and we're going to put them in the pot. Okay, so here I'm just reading the instructions. It says to place the pellets on a watertight tray, add an a inch and a half of warm water until the pellets grow to about two inches tall, okay? So I feel like we're about there. Some of them are still kind of hard, but for the most part, they're squishy, um, or the squishy texture is what you want. So when it is hard, you just wanna add some more water and just let it continue to absorb water. Now, one thing, one step I did miss here is that I didn't read the instructions before, which I typically don't. And it says to use warm water. I am using room temperature. So that's probably why um, it's taking my pies a little bit long, or pellets, excuse me, a little bit longer to absorb and swell, okay? But nonetheless, they're doing their thug dizzle and they are almost ready for us to stuff with sunflower seeds.
right, so now that our pods have swollen, I think is the word I want to use, now that they're swollen to the height that we prefer, I am just opening up the opening so that I can have a um, clear way or entrance to put in my seeds in here. So you see me just pouring my seeds in a cup just so I can get to them quickly. And then I'm just gonna go here and um, I'm putting two seeds per pellet, okay? I'm just gonna go in and plant my two seeds and then I'm going to squish the medium back around it so that it's covered and that it is in the center. Um, so we, are, we allowed the pellet to swell to two inches. So we're gonna put the sunflower one inch into the pellet, okay? So I'm gonna let you enjoy the vibes, enjoy the video, and you will see me um, just breaking up the medium by squeezing it. And then you see me sticking my finger in it to make a hole, and then I'm putting two sunflower seeds per pellet, okay? to stop for a second because you know I really should be doing this with my gloves on but I get excited and I really enjoy the feeling of playing in dirt because <laughs> I'm a big kid so I absolutely love playing in dirt but I had it's best to put your gloves on and do this with your um your gardening gloves that's why they make them so I put my little my sexy nipsy blue on and then we're gonna finish the task
All right, gang, gang, and that completes our beautiful tray. Okay, so this tray has 16 pellets in it, and I am simply just rereading the directions again. So now that I have my pellets um, fully, what I want to call it, they're fully loaded with their sunflower seed, and I kind of moved the medium around to cover the seed. We're going to take my spritzer, and we're going to miss the pellets so that way they are nicely moisturized and then we're going to put the top on it and we're going to allow the greenhouse kit to create a humid environment so my seeds can sprout okay After everything was all said and done I ended up going back and reading this and I was actually supposed to add the super thrive to a gallon of water and warm water at that excuse me and add that warm water to my pellets but guess what yeah just like I told you earlier didn't read the instructions all the way through so jokes on me but that's okay because I still have these cute little um, three inch cups to put my seeds in so we are going to put some more sunflower seeds into these cups with the grow medium and this time I'm going to moisturize these with the super thrive since I forgot to do it on my pellets okay so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now this was a very messy process for me because I was trying something new doing too much basically so just be patient with your girl but what you see me doing here is i'm just getting my cups ready um just taking them all out getting them set up they did come pre hold <laughs> pre drainage holes so they have a whole lot ready in the bottom of them um, so i didn't have to put no hole in it i was just showing you my grow medium but i blew the picture up so it kind of got cut off on the side let me put my blue nipsy blue gloves on and let's get busy Okay, so here is where shit gets weird. So basically, I'm putting it the Jiffy Pot into a plastic cup because what I want to do is I want to wet the soil until it starts draining through. And then once it's drained all the way through, I'm going to put the seeds in. Okay, that was my plan. But I'm going to let you watch and you're going to see what, what happens. But like I said earlier, we're going to go ahead and add the Super Thrive to this batch of sunflower seeds and see what the difference is. See if it gives us, you know, better sprouts. We're going to see. So I'm just reading the um, directions, which I didn't do the first time, okay? And it definitely says that once you put the soil in, you want to wet it 
until it's draining through and then um, add the seeds. So boom, it got weird because peat moss is almost impossible to like get wet. Look at this. Like this water is not draining, it ain't going nowhere. Like it won't come out the other end. It's just literally sitting here. So shit got real messy real quick. And honestly, it was just this one, if I remember correctly. The other ones worked just fine, but this one was being so difficult. Um, one thing that I did find help was to spritz it rather than to um, pour the water in like I'm doing it. So of course the ones that are sitting on the floor without the plastic, water went straight through. Um, so that's why you see me grab the cup. And then look at this one, water went straight through and this is more ideal for what I was trying to get out the other cup. Um, not sure why the first one didn't go well, but misting is the best way to wet peat moss going forward. Okay, so now I have water in all of my jiffy pots with the soil and I'm just basically trying to allow the water to run through, to drain through the pot. And then um, some of them I didn't feel like were wet enough, so you see me misting them here. And then um, I'm gonna begin to plant my seeds here in just a second, but I'm gonna wet, I prefer to wet peat moss by misting. Um, it just get, it saturates it so well and it doesn't like puff up like it does when you try to pour it. So here's just the water that's draining from my other pots. And I'm just gonna, yeah, look at that. Beautiful drainage, beautiful drainage. That's what I was looking for earlier. I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm just adding a little bit more soil and then we're gonna let that drain, okay? And then I'm gonna spritz the soil on top. And then we're gonna sit it in the cup, sit it to the side, and let that finish draining, okay? So once I get all of my um, dirt moist, I will be back to talk to you so we can plant this seeds, baby, baby, baby.
is time. So now that I got all of my soil moist, wet, um, it is time to put our seeds. So again, I'm just reading the instructions, making sure I didn't skip a step. Um, now for these cups, I'm gonna use four seeds, okay? So it's gonna be four seeds per cup here. And then um, right now, I think I'm just sitting them on top. And then I'm going to bring them all in closer so you can, oh, I lied. It's like hella more seeds than I said. But all right. <laughs> yeah, you're going to see me plant these seeds. <laughs> Keep watching. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I am gonna use this clean press and seal as my tops, okay, to help me create that human environment for the seeds to sprout. And I really love this stuff because it clings to whatever you ask it to cling to. Like even with this biodegradable pot being wet, it still found a way to grasp onto the material. So I absolutely love this and I highly suggest this if you're going to germinate your plants inside or outside, but it really, really helps um, create that mid glow that you need to make your seeds sprout, okay? And I'm no expert, this is my first time doing this, but I made this video months ago and I feel like I got so much success from using this press and seal wrap, okay? It is amazing.
Now, the reason why I didn't mind overcrowding some of these pots and just putting mad seeds in one pot is because I know good and doggone well all of these seeds are not going to become sunflowers. So, I go ahead and plant them all and, you know, the best fit wins, right? So, they compete with each other over the nutrients and the soil and whoever is built for it is built for it. So, I allow nature to choose what seeds are going to come and if it's all of them it's all of them but stay tuned and you're going to see exactly how many stay around and voila now all of my babies are ready to go outside and sit in the heat and get that moisture rolling so that we can get these seeds germinating and these sunflowers planted so I took them out on my back patio and I'm just gonna sit them outside. See, hi neighbors. And, um, and we're just gonna let the heat get to them. Here's my brand new baby pineapple, which we are getting ready to repot in the next video. See ya.